Today's video, I'm going to show you one of the best base plays of Madden 24. It comes to us out of the gun tight slots out of that group formation, which is going to be in the Cincinnati Bengals offensive playbook. Now, if you want to get my entire uh, tight slots halfback week and Bengals offensive ebook, join the Patreon today for just $10. It'll get you access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks. Now, what makes tight slots so good, in my opinion, is its ability to be able to break down a variety of different coverages from the same look as well as having some of the best post routes in Madden 24. So today we're going to take a look at the play Mesh Spot, and what I believe is probably the number one base play in the game right now. So what we're going to do with the setup here is we are going to streak the left side receiver. We are going to block the tight end. We're going to Texas route our running back. What this is going to do is it's going to create a trail concept, and then it's going to be really effective against the man in the meta. The other cool part about this concept here is we do have this drag route that can get some really nice separation against man coverage, and we have this really good post route that is one of the best routes in the game this year at being able to attack man coverage. So as you can see right there, the post route to Jerry Rice is going to be kind of the main read on the play. It's the route that we want to hit. It's the route that they're going to have to use her because that specific route is going to be able to get open pretty much regardless of the coverage. Whether it be man or zone coverage, you're going to have this, this concept be uh, a winner for you. So here in this example, I'm going to show you a cover two zone, and then we'll get into the rest of the reads against man. So what you'll see against the cover two zone is you're just going to throw it just like that, and that will also be able to get over the top of any kind of zone drop that they're going to put on that side of the field. This is another thing that makes tight slots, I think, a very powerful formation this year and just a, a formation in general now uh, that, that can do a lot. As you can see right there, though, the beauty of the drag is the drag is going to be able to get some separation against man-to-man. -man. Now, conceptually, um, the other thing I want to quickly point out is let's say that we were in a bunch formation here. This is the same concept as utilizing a trail and, or a Texas route and a zig or a slant and a zig for that matter. The spacing really does kind of work itself out for you um, by using stuff like that. So if you were in a bunch set and you have a post route like that, you can kind of create the same concept um, just by utilizing a zip, okay? So these concepts do transfer uh, formation to formation. So now I want to show you uh, what it looks like or what it would look like for them to basically use the, the post route. And when they do decide to go use the post route, what happens is the entire middle of the field becomes wide open, and that's where the Texas pattern becomes one of the better routes in the game. Now, like I said, the Texas pattern is going to be used as if it were a slant route. So if I wanted to do this from a different play, let's say I don't have hot route master, but I still want to run this concept, what you can do is you can very easily streak the left receiver, block the running back now instead of the tight end, and then we're going to um, out route the tight end, and we're going to slant this slot receiver. We're still going to get the same basic idea here, and you'll see that this slant route is not quite as good of a man beater as the Texas pattern. Actually, got actually got absolutely bagged uh, right there by uh, the bad pass lead that I had. But but anyways, this is this is another way that you can kind of get the same basic result. Um, not quite as good against man coverage, but still from a spacing perspective, accomplishes the same basic thing as a slant post concept. Uh, let's talk about this play in terms of zone coverage now. So the play is really good against zone coverage as well because, again, the spacing is so that it is. And that's why this drag route is really good when paired with the Texas route this year. The drag will get underneath everything. They have to shade underneath to play a drag route. So you're going to have to get the hard flats out. You're going to have to get the shaded down hook curls out. If you don't, we can throw the drag all day long, or they're going to have to use it. So if they use her this, then you're going to be able to throw this over the middle. As you can see right there, really effective at being able to attack the defensive coverage. And that's cover three, cover four, cover two. It does not matter uh, really what they do. You're going to have that, that ability to hit that route. Now, the last read on this play is a little bit of a later read. But what you'll see here is if you see how that kind of opens up because the shaded down yellow zone is going to jump down to that. Um, that's where this play is a is not honestly quite as good against zone as a true slant post concept because the angle route is going to run at a way at, a, at an angle that is a little deeper than a slant and it doesn't do quite as good on the back side of the field. So what you know that's why 
you know, in a perfect world, you could motion this guy out as well, and you could run a little zig route. This is pretty cool, I think, because you still have all of the man-to-man -man beating capabilities that you have in the actual concept. But now what you're able to do is, let's say it breaks down against zone coverage, we can wait on the slant and throw this on the sideline just like that. So there's ways that you can obviously tweak the concept slightly to make it more effective against a variety of different coverages. Another little example would be a slant and an in route. And what you'll see here is now they're going to run at different depths. So you see the underneath zones are going to take that, and then this can be thrown over the top. The last thing I do want to show with this in terms of its ability to attack zone coverage is if the user cho chooses uh, to go defend this in a double flat scenario, maybe they're double mabling, and they're going to have to use her post route because it's still going to get over the top of every zone in the game. So uh, what you're going to be able to do is now the middle of the field becomes a lot more open and this Texas pattern uh, really can give them a lot of trouble and you're going to throw it right in that little pocket and as you can see this play is absolutely lethal. As tight slots half that week I, I could talk about this formation all day long. I think this formation is at least one of the best offenses in the game, if not the flat out best offense this year, if you can run it and if you can understand the, why the routes get open, you don't need a lot of plays, which makes us an incredibly effective competitive offense. And it's why Henry, when he played Gabigol said, you know, this was one of the offenses that he actually had to you know, look at and practice for because he didn't really understand how he was going to be able to stop this offense. He's the best defensive player in the world. Maybe the def maybe the best defensive player of all time is saying that. It means the offense is really effective. So if you guys want to get my version of it, Tight Slots Halfback Week, Offensive Ebook, you can join the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to sign up, and uh, it'll get you access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. And, uh, yeah, if you want to join the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.